Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video we're going to show you how to install the Game Salad Viewer. This has been a point of a contention for a lot of people and it's really pretty easy. Um, and I'm sure after this video you're going to be able to breeze through it. So you've downloaded the viewer and when you open the folder this is what you see, a whole bunch of files. Now I need to point out that you should have already have downloaded uh, Xcode. Um, and if you haven't done so, pause the video and go download it now. Um, just go into Developer and iOS Dev Center and scroll down and the um, download for the newest Xcode will be uh, right here. Um, very simple. It might, might take you a little while. It's like 4 gig. Um, but once you have it installed, come back to this video. Okay, so now that we've done that, we have the Game Salad Viewer here. Now, before we get into this, we need to go in and set up some provisioning profiles. So we're going to go into iTunes Connect and, sorry, Provisioning Portal. And the first thing we want to do is add your device. So basically plug in your iPhone right now or your iPad or iPod or whatever it is you're using. And once it's connected to your computer, hit the Apple symbol at the top of the screen, hit um, About This Mac, go into soft, uh, More Info, and then System Report. Under System Report and Hardware, go down to USB and find your iPhone. Here's my iPhone right here. Now you'll see this serial number right here. You're going to want to copy that. So select the whole serial number. Oh and hit uh, command C to copy. Now I want to go into devices and we're going to hit add device and you'll name this whatever you want uh, my iPhone and then command V to paste in here and hit submit. Now I can't do it because the device is already existing for me but once you hit submit it'll go into your devices and you can add up to a hundred devices if you want. Um, once we do that, we're going to go into certificates. Um, sorry, not certificates, provisioning. And under development, you're going to make new, new profile. And we're going to call this the, I just call it GS. You can call it GS viewer, whatever you want. Um, I'll do GS sample. Um, there's a certificate you want to use. You're going to hit the checkbox because your certificates will be there. And um, app ID. Sorry, we have to go in and do an app ID. So let's go into Apple IDs now. We'll hit create new. And I'll do it again. GS sample. Um, use team ID. You can just leave it like that. Uh, it'll do its, its own thing. Under here, you need to do your bundle identifier, um, which is a backwards URL. So for me, it's com.tshirtbooth. And I'm going to do GS sample. Um, so basically, it, it just needs to be something that no one else in the entire world will ever do. So if you don't have a domain name, you can do like com. Uh, my crazy cool games uh, by t-shirt booth dot gs sample um, it doesn't have to be a domain that someone's going to go to uh, it just has to be something that no one ever in the world will, that, that makes iPhone games would ever use and then you're going to hit submit and that takes a second or two to uh, show up but it should be there now now we'll go into provisioning and we're going to go uh, new profile and we're going to go GS sample, click my certificate, find my app ID, uh, should be here somewhere. I have so many of these things I don't even need anymore. GS sample, there it is. And then you want to choose your device um, that we added earlier. I just do select all and then hit submit. So that is uh, right here. It's pending. So just hit disk development again. 
Now it's active. Hit download. All right. So now that we have that, remember your phone is or your device is still connected. You want to keep it connected. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the downloads. And we're going to grab our, our provisioning profile that we just made. And you're going to double click it. Now because your, your device is connected to the computer, it's going to install that provisioning profile on your computer and on your device. So you'll see Xcode doing something, it pops up. And um, right here you'll see your device, iPhone. And now under provisioning profiles, I got GS, okay, it didn't come in, so for some reason, just double click it again. GS samples there, provisioning profile, there it is, GS sample. Um, I have uh, some stuff here because I cleared out a lot of stuff uh, to make this video, so these are not valid anymore. Um, that's okay, so I'm just going to hit delete and delete. So I got my GS sample. You want to make sure there's no errors there. It's, if this is the first time you've plugged your device into um, Xcode, when you go and hit your iPhone, it might have it might not have this stuff here. It might have a button that says "Use for Development." You'll have to hit that first, and then that will take uh, probably about uh, three minutes to um, recognize your device for development and get all the information it needs. And then you can go back and double click your provisioning profile again, uh, and then it will install it. But you want to make sure this is a green symbol here. And um, under provisioning profiles, you have the GS sample that we made, um, or whatever you wanted to call it. Once that is done, we can go back into downloads and go into our viewer. And now we can double click the game salad viewer dot Xcode project. Now Xcode's going to open up, and you're going to see this screen here. It's going to say no editor. There's nothing in here. Click on this. This says game salad viewer. Click on that. Now this is going to pop up, and under Identifier, you're going to see com.gondegames.gamesaladviewer. We're going to change that to the bundle identifier that we made for the GS uh, sample, which was t-shirt sample. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit Build Settings, and in this search box, you're going to type in code. And for some reason, I'll click on uh, click on up here, projects, game salad viewer. Now type in code, and when you type in code, the code signing identities will pop up. What we're going to want to do is click on the first one, and you're going to click on the GS sample one right here. It'll change a couple of them. The other two it didn't change. You'll go and do the same thing. The GS sample, the GS sample, up here. You're going to have options. For simulators, you want to make sure that it's set to your device. Once you've done that, just uh, unlock your device. And then you're going to hit Run. Now it's building the Game Salad Viewer. It's going to come up with a bunch of errors on the side. Don't worry about that. The only thing you want to make sure is that it finishes in installing. It's almost half done. You know, always allow. And then it says, Bill succeeded. Don't do anything yet. Watch your device. You want to wait till it pops up. And now the Game Seller logo will pop up on your device, but you're not done yet. You want to wait until you see the um, all the buttons on it. Right now, you'll probably just see a logo. Once you see recent games, instructions, connect to Wi-Fi, you're done. So now you can hit stop. And then you can close Xcode. You're done. The Game Seller viewer is on your device. Uh, you're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and um, find the game sell, game sell it on here. Uh, applications. Um, where is game sell it? Now I'm going to open up game sell it here. Now this is very important that, that your Mac and your iPhone are on the same Wi-Fi. And if they are, simply open, open the game sell viewer on your device now. And you'll see that preview on iPhone now pops up up here. 
and you can send it to your iPhone device. And that's all you need to know about getting the viewer on your device. I'll see you guys in the next video. Head on over to gshelper.com. There's tons of free videos and free sample files and some cool templates you can get. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.